did streamers really ru I don't I'm gonna say my point I always say my point before I let them talk about this shit. But I don't think streamers killed the fucking game and niggas if anything, streamers fucking boosted the way people see games and people is it puts it in their face. Like, oh you, this shit fun as fuck, go try this shit. Did streamers really ruin gaming, or are you just trash? In this video, I'm gonna talk about gaming before streaming was popular, and gaming after streaming became popular, and by the end of this video, you'll have an answer on if streaming really ruined gaming or not. Now, a few months ago, I was actually scrolling through Twitter, and I saw this tweet right here that says, dominating blue collar workers in Battlebit. If you don't know what Battlebit is, well, it's basically like Battlefield and Roblox, and this is pretty much the whole clip. Yeah, pretty much that guy is just straight up dominating people like that that's pretty much it and i saw a quote tweet that said esports ruined casual gaming now i know the whole title of this video is like something along the lines of how streamers ruined gaming but i'm gonna put streamers and esports kind of in the same category i say that because with streaming you kind of got to either be good at a game or funny and with esports you got to be good at a game so i'm gonna put them both together because they're pretty similar if i do say so myself but to really understand this we got to go all the way back to 28 18, the Fortnite boom. Before Fortnite was this cringe cash grab that pretty much just preyed on little kids for money, it was a game that nobody truly knew how to play and everyone had fun with it. I mean, back in 2018, every single human being was talking about Fortnite. I mean, back then you had Fortnite meme pages, every single human being was posting their wins, people were doing emotes yeah, yeah. IRL. I mean, that's how we got the infamous ninja clip. I would have felt so embarrassed, bro. I would have felt so fucking embarrassed. I never even seen this shit. I want to see some movement. I want to see some movement. Nobody. Everybody said. I'm not seeing enough. It's raining. Everybody saying, fuck you. Movement. And since Fortnite was so popular, one thing that also became popular because of Fortnite was streaming. Back then, Twitch was like pretty niche, but I'd say that Fortnite made Twitch more mainstream. And you may be asking, why did people go to Twitch and not YouTube? Well, the thing about YouTube is that a lot of YouTube videos are edited, and some people, they may be good on YouTube, but it's like on Twitch. Twitch is live, Twitch is raw. So if you lose, like people are gonna see you lose, and if you win, people are gonna see you win. And that's why Twitch was so popular, because you could see high-level gameplay in real time. To determine if somebody was truly good all you had to do was just watch them on twitch and with twitch becoming so popular some streamers that a bunch of people were watching back then was people like myth ninja dr lupo nick Merckx. the whole ninja versus myth argument was like the biggest topic in school i remember i was back in like freaking 10th grade and we were arguing at lunch tables talking about if myth or ninja was better i'm not gonna lie back then i was team Bruh. myth but with all those popular streamers and pro players being in the limelight that made more people want to be a pro player slash streamer i mean did y'all see how some of these fortnite teams were getting down bro i'm telling you if i had to crank a few 90s to be a freaking fortnite pro back then I, I probably would and that's exactly where the downfall of gaming happened everyone started focusing on the money you can make from gaming rather than the fun from gaming when, but i'm gonna give you the story help while i started started streaming all this shit i never thought about the money of course i did no i'm, I'm lying i did think about the money in a in a farther aspect but i was thinking about having fun recording well, all my homeboys just the clips of us have because we funny as fuck so i just i was like bro why don't we just put a camera on each other or put we all have sit in front of a camera record the videos that we watch record the games that we watch and just upload that shit and see what the fuck happens fortnite used to be this game and where you try now. to win by doing these creative strats like building a sky base building a huge metal base or maybe even camping in a bush but then it turned into this huge sweat fest when people saw that you could make abnormal amounts of money from this game back then if you shot at a dude they would probably start shooting at you back like they wouldn't even build but now if you shoot at somebody in fortnite they're building a whole freaking skyscraper hotel with wi-fi it's actually wild <laughs> now let me say this right now i do also say that that's kind of just time like with time people get better but my point is that everyone's playing games to be the best rather than to just have fun with their boys everyone is playing to be watched nah, on twitch nah, nah, nah. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or watched on youtube i mean you ever play a game and you get killed by somebody with i be playing games with my homeboys off the screen off the um off live and all that shit too but i don't just play the games i might stream that shit later on but not right now though 
they TTV gamer tag and you go to their Twitch and they're not streaming at all. They're just sweating just to sweat. Like everyone is just playing for that top spot because in that top spot, you can make content out of it. And with that content comes a whole lot of money. Unless you're playing like farming simulator and you're a pro. I don't, I don't really think you make a lot of money from like pro farming simulator, but I don't know. I, I might oh, become wait, a wait. pro. I don't know. Is this an esports game? Don't tell me this. Don't tell me farming simulator is an esports game. I don't really think you make a lot of money from like pro farming simulator, but I don't know. I, I might become a farming simulator yes? pro. You never know. Bars. But yeah, everyone's pretty much playing to be watched. I remember back then, games wouldn't really get sweaty until like two or three weeks after release. But now, games are sweaty off the rip. It can be five days Hell away. Yeah, bro. When the finals had just dropped, bro. Everybody's sweating their ass. I'm like, bro, chill out. I just got to the game. It was, bro, I'll never forget. A, a, not a, a woman was um, cussing me out. I'm like, damn, bro, I just started a game. What do, like, what's the damn, like, shit. She's like, oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm like, from Call of Duty coming out and you already got a dude making a video saying best class setup 2023 MW3 and it's like bro the game hasn't even released it can be two weeks before 2k comes out and a dude already has the best yeah. build it makes no sense and when the game comes out people are only going to play the meta because when you only play the meta you can win more and when you win more you can get up to that top rank and when you get up to that top rank you can stream create content from it more people are going to watch you because you're up high on the leaderboards and then the cycle just continues and continues and continues and now everyone's just playing the same because everyone's just trying to be the best to be able to stream it slash be watched back then you would play games for the fun because there was really no money involved but now it's like every single human being is trying to become the top streamer and it's like bro like where's the fun in that back then gaming tournaments were giving out speckles i'm telling you if you won a gaming tournament for like freaking mortal Kombat or halo or something like that you were probably going to get 50 cents in a big mac but now if you win a freaking fortnite tournament or you just win a freaking call of duty tournament dog you're honestly set you can buy your mom a freaking mansion people are getting millions from tournaments i mean look at booga bro didn't he he won like three million i'm pretty sure off of fortnite that is wild that is insane money another thing about gaming after streaming is that games that aren't even sweaty are becoming sweaty for example fall guys i remember back in 2020 ever shit, i knew she was sweaty when they i realized she was sweaty today when motherfuckers esport on farming simulator single human being was playing fall guys during quarantine and with everybody playing fall guys tiktok got a hold of that and i remember scrolling through tiktok one day and i saw this one dude making videos of the best strats on certain maps on fall guys and i just thought to myself what do you gain from being a sweat in fall guys what do you gain like i understand you're trying to show people how to fall win guys and stuff, but i feel like game. the reason why fall guys was so fun was because nobody was making strats or anything people were just hopping in having fun just playing like headless chickens you know i feel like games die out quick quicker when you're making all these strats and stuff on how to win when it's not even like obviously yes the goal in fall guys is to win but i feel like the whole point of that game is to enjoy the journey like the fun with friends the freaking hurdles you're going yeah, yeah, over I, I that one dude briefing friends, you on the map like when you're only focused on trying to get crowns in that game the game becomes less fun because you're just focused on the destination rather than the journey imagine coming home from a long day of school or work and you're getting sweated on in fall guys imagine you're over there just trying to chill you know you're on this little cutesy game that's like wipe out and out of nowhere ttv try hard for life literally just claps you every single bro. map and it's like dude you can't even have fun anymore. and since everyone's try harding games are now catering to the bad players one thing that games have been implementing is this thing called skill-based matchmaking if you don't know what it is well i'll basically explain think of a lobby where all the top players from a bunch of different games all get into a lobby with each other and go head to head basically ranked play but with no bonus rewards or anything you just kind of get into a lobby with the best players without getting any specific reward in casual play and the thing about skill-based matchmaking is that it's unfair because the good players are being punished for being good at the game and it gets to this point where it's like winning feels like a chore rather than actual fun because back then if you truly wanted to sweat you would go into like a ranked game mode or something but now if you're a tryhard you're gonna play every oh single God, other tryhard 20 so many fucking memories i stand on this shit to this day 
Call of Duty Cold War is the best fucking Call of Duty in my eyes. Or seven, just because you're good at the game. Back then, games like Call of Duty, what they would do, you would join a lobby, and if you wanted to leave that lobby, you would just leave it, and if you wanted to stay after the game, you would stay. But now, <laughs> after a game is finished, they just transport you to a whole different lobby with everyone else who also did good, and it's like, now you gotta go head to head with all the big dogs just because you won one game. I remember Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, that had some of the worst skill-based matchmaking ever. That game was borderline unplayable because if you won one game, you would be playing the freaking optic roster from freaking 2014 just from winning one game. And another way of games catering shit. to bad players, Fortnite adding bots into their games just so you can feel better about yourself. Let's be real, it is 2023. Nobody is a default anymore in Fortnite. I mean, back then, yes, there were people who were bad at the game, but nobody is so bad that they're literally running into a wall 24-7 in Fortnite. Fortnite. So now it's like there's no middle ground between the good and the bad players. It's like if you're good, you're being punished, and if you're bad, you're being rewarded. There's actually this tweet by Faye Sway that says the downfall of video game. But all the shit he just said right there has nothing to do with how streamers are fucking up with gaming. Games started when kids complained about people being good at the game. I remember when I was a kid and saw a Master Prestige in COD, I didn't tell him to take a shower or go outside. I sent that MF a friend request. And that's facts. Instead of actually putting in the work to be good, a lot of people just sit there and complain and now games are kind of catering to them. But one game that I say that kind of bridged the middle ground between the really good players and the really bad players is Street Fighter 6. One thing that Street Fighter 6 did, they added something called modern controls and classic controls. Classic controls, basically you have to do more to push out a combo. And if you do that successfully, then that combo does more damage. But if you play modern controls, you only hit square or something and it'll do a full combo and those combos do less damage so it kind of bridges the gap between good and bad players that's but that's a whole fighting game how can this be fixed in like games that are like fps or something like that in my honest opinion i say that fps games should just go back to like the regular lobbies you know back then you could join a lobby scope out the lobby see who's like the freaking best players and stuff and if they were a little too good for your level you could leave if you wanted to like i don't think that you should be transported into the freaking universe of the top 12 call of duty masters after you win one game i feel like there should always be that option to stay if you want to stay or leave if you want to leave there was nothing wrong with those lobbies back then it's just like games just wanted to cater to the bad players you know so it's honestly just like gaming is just honestly a huge sweat fest and that rounds back to like the ultimate question of this video did streamers really ruin gaming in my honest opinion yes i a thousand percent believe that streamers in esports ruined gaming because there is no reason why people should be sweating at a game where you literally fall I understand I understand esports, but not streamers. Cabbages. But this this is out of control right here. Farming farming simulator. I made that esports. Who who the fuck? How do you even sweat in farming simulator? How? Let me know in the comments. Do y'all think streamers slash pro players play gaming? Or like, what's your guys' you take on this whole sport. situation? Let me know. But yeah, this is gonna wrap up the video. If you guys made it this far, I appreciate you. If you guys enjoy Yeah, I fuck with you, my boy. Get out like But yeah, I'm gonna do these other videos probably when I get home. Probably not. It don't matter. I'll do that shit when I get to it. Yeah, that's four videos. That's just an hour, ain't it? Yeah, I told you I'm be on an hour.